Library of Heaven's Path. Chapter 48, What the heck is this toy? Huang Yu felt the vision before her spin and she almost fainted on the spot. Do not even know Jenny's Wang? Dude, are you really from Tianqian Kingdom? Are you sure you didn't pop up from some remote corner? At this moment, she was starting to regret bringing this fellow here. Given how ignorant he was, it was likely that he would say something wrong and pull her down along with him. Actually, Zhang Xian really wasn't putting on an act, he was truly ignorant on this matter. His previous self was the worst teacher in the academy. All along, he had been occupied with how he could stop himself from being expelled from the school. Thus, he never tried to look into the internal affairs of the kingdom and knew very little about it as well. The previous him didn't even know what section, division, and bureau were, so how could he possibly know who Jenny Zhuang was? Jia. Just as she was about to explain the glorious war accomplishments of Jenny Zhuang, the door in front of them creaked and opened. A butler-like person appeared in their view, welcoming them. Uncle Chen, I am prepared now. I hope to receive master's guidance again. Towards the butler he called Uncle Chen, the white-clothed Gong Zibai soon spoke respectfully, the arrogance he had a moment ago absent in his voice. So it is by Gongzi and Huang Gunyang. Please follow me to wait at the lounge. Upon catching sight of the three standing at the entrance of the door, the butler bowed and ushered them in. The three of them followed behind him into the residence. Zhang Xian gazed around the surroundings. The residence might not be extravagant in its renovations, inferior even when compared to certain parts of the academy, but it brought about a wholly different atmosphere. Every moment of stillness and every movement in the courtyard felt like a tranquil ink painting, which exuded indescribable elegance. What an incredible natural ink painting! Zhang Xian couldn't help praising. Oh! Gongzi, seems to have some aptitude towards painting? Hearing his praise, the butler turned around and asked. It is just a casual comment. He didn't expect that a casual comment that he spoke would attract the attention of the butler. Zhang Xian hurriedly shook his head. In his previous life, he was a librarian, and his job was deeply related to literacy. Even though he had seen many different paintings back then, he had never picked up a brush, needless to say, paint. Arlai used his heart as his brush and the courtyard as his paper to turn the entire residence into a painting. You aren't mistaken in your words. The butler nodded his head and continued moving forward. Soon, they arrived at the lounge. The lounge wasn't very big, but was rich in paintings, giving the room a kind of classical elegance. It had a soothing effect on those who step into it. It was unlike the other places, where strength measuring rock pillars could be found everywhere, which made one feel as though they would be thrown out if they displayed insufficient strength. I will be reporting to Lai. After arranging the seats for the three of them, the butler turned around to leave. You know a thing or two about paintings. The moment the butler left, Huang Yu looked over curiously. She seemed to have heard the conversation back there. Come to think about it, she didn't know a single thing about the young man she had brought herself. I only felt that the arrangement in the courtyard is reminiscent of a painting. Zhang Xian replied. Xiao Yu, don't listen to his nonsense. This fellow is just putting on a show to attract your attention. Bai Sun's glare was so intense that fire might emerge from it. What do you know? My friend here is extremely knowledgeable and talented. Do you think that everyone likes to act mighty the way you do? Hearing the other party insult the friend she brought, Huang Yu was displeased. Knowledgeable. Him. Xiao Yu, you should be careful. I think this lad is just a useless playboy. Despite being young, he is skilled in the art of deceiving to win the favor of girls. He truly has no shame. Luo Luo, hearing the lady praise Zhang Xian, Bai Sun felt the rage in him boiling even more intensely and he gritted his teeth furiously. My friend here is skilled in zither, chess, literature, and painting. There is nothing he is incapable of, 
there is nothing he doesn't have expertise in. Not only is he outstanding in the younger generation, there aren't many of the older generation who can match up to him. On the contrary, look at yourself. You aren't skilled in anything, and your mind is only filled with fighting and killing all day long. You are the one that is useless. Huang Yu didn't back down. Skilled in zither, chess, literature, and painting? You mean him? He doesn't look much older than me. Even if he started learning from the womb, how much can he learn? You are probably the only one who will get scammed by him. Bai Sun glared savagely at Zhang Xian. Just because he is young means that he isn't skilled? What if he is talented? Don't doubt others just because you are untalented. Huang Yu retorted. Hearing their argument, the innocent Zhang Xian, who had arrows fired at him, frowned. If you want to argue, just argue among yourselves. Why must you all rope me in? Did I offend any of you? Zither, chess, literature, and painting, you said. I have never touched any of the four in my entire life. If I am talented, how can I possibly be the first teacher in history to score a zero in the teacher qualification examination in Hongtian Academy? Just as Bai Sun was about to counter-attack with words of his own, footsteps sounded from outside and a figure walked in. It was an elderly man with snow-white hair and beard. He carried with him a unique aura, which granted him a majestic disposition. The butler from before followed behind him. Emperor Shenzui's ex-tutor, Lu Chen. Paying respect to Master. Upon seeing him, Bai Sun and Huang Yu dared not bicker any longer and bowed simultaneously. I heard that someone was able to tell that the arrangement of my courtyard is an ink painting. It is rare to see such a refined youngster nowadays. Ignoring the two who were paying respects to him, the moment the elderly man walked in, his eyes was fixated upon Zhang Xian. It was apparent that the butler had informed him of Zhang Xian's previous words. Master, this fellow is just spouting nonsense, there's no need to bother about him. I have already revised beforehand, so master, you can feel free to test me, upon seeing the master's attention fixated on the lad, Bai Sun felt displeased and hurriedly said. Did I allow you to talk? Master Lu Chen frowned. I. Bai Sun's face turned completely red, but he dared not talk back to him. He might be of high standing, and his father was formidable as well. However, before the emperor's tutor, he still paled far in comparison. After reprimanding Bai Sun, Master Lu Chen's attention returned back to Zhang Xian. Since you are learned in painting, it just so happens that I have a work here for you to appraise in my stead. After which, he gestured with his hand. The butler hurried forward and unfurled a painting scroll on the table. It was a simple and elegant ink painting. The moment it was unfurled, a refreshing aura assaulted its viewers. In a peaceful village, children were frolicking around and smoke emerged from the chimneys. If one concentrated, it seemed as though one could hear the call of the cicada and see the dance of the tree leaves. It was a painting of a scenery. This, Zhang Xian scratched his head. He didn't know a single thing about painting. All he could tell about this painting was that it wasn't bad. Asking him to appraise? What was he supposed to appraise about it? You must think carefully before you speak. This is a test by the master, he, likes to test others. Anyway, when I first came, I was tested by him too. If you manage to speak well, you will be able to borrow as many books as you like. But if you were to screw this up, you will be sent back instantly. Just as he was hesitating, Huang Yu's agitated voice sounded beside him. Test. Zhang Xian smiled bitterly. If only he knew that Master Lu Chen had such interests, he wouldn't have said anything when he walked into the courtyard. Was this considered as courting trouble? However, based on Huang Yu's words, it was likely that the other party would test him even if he said nothing. After all, this was a habit he had cultivated. 
he probably couldn't shake it off even if he wanted to. As for appraising it, what the heck was he supposed to appraise? He wasn't even learned in that aspect, what problems could he see from it? What kind of comments should he be making? After all, the other party was the emperor's tutor, a master of painting. If he were to spout nonsense, he might be chased away with a stick even before he was done speaking. Why? Is there any problem? Upon seeing his expression, Master Lu Chen inquired. Ah, nothing. Zhang Xian scratched his head. Just as he was at a loss on how he should organize his sentences to come up with words that the other party was unable to find flaws with, a thought suddenly flashed through his mind. Since the Library of Heaven's Path is capable of authenticating items, then, is it possible for it to tell the flaws in paintings? At this point, he couldn't resist stepping forward to touch the painting lightly. When a sound echoed in his head and a book appeared in his mind. Zhang Xian was overjoyed. After reading the contents of it, he raised his head and gazed at Master Lu Chen with bright eyes. Smiling faintly, he asked, Master really wants me to appraise this? Master Lu Chen didn't respond, indicating his silent consent. I have eight words of evaluation on it. Zhang Xian said. I am willing to listen to it. Master Lu Chen looked at Zhang Xian. Zhang Xian nodded his head. His eyes scanned through the painting once more and he shook his head, the eight words are. Downright senseless, what the heck is this toy? Gongzi, please mind your words. Initially, he was curious on the evaluation Zhang Xian could give. Upon hearing these words, the butler almost fainted on the spot. Flustered, he tried to stop him hurriedly, this is a painting that was just drawn by the master. Translator note. Gunyang dash lady slash miss. Lai dash old master.